Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Yards on the season of this game at 9.36 coming in, so he's at 9.39. Plenty of time to throw, and he hits in stride Rashad Bateman. That's a true freshman, and he's up to midfield. Johnson on the field right now with three receivers, and it's handed off by Morgan. Once again, Ibrahim bounces off a tackle. He's inside the 20, brought down at the 16 by Tariq Carpenter. Johnson in the slot up top, but looking near side towards the end zone. A lot of contact between Rashad Bateman and the defender. No flag. That was Trey Swilling. 15 to 20. Long at 53 this year. This 31-yarder is up and true. Right now, they're basically showing him a, a nine-man box. On third and seven, Marshall spun down. Morgan, time to throw to the sideline, and a first down catch is made by the freshman Rashad Bateman. And he steps out of bounds at the 34, gain of 13. Morgan looks his way. He's going his way to the end zone for Johnson. Over the shoulder, got it. Touchdown. Minnesota, great throw, great catch. And our first touchdown of the night belongs to Tyler Johnson. Quarter. Marshall to throw, but he's sacked. Julian Huff, the brother of Jacob Huff. Forget about his right. Third down at seven. So the line to gain right near the three. Morgan under pressure, breaks a tackle, takes off, and he is brought down shy of the line again at the nine yard line by Victor Alexander. For this one, pretty well lined up middle of the field. For the fifth year senior from Green Bay, and he knocks that one up and through, but he's going to get you. Can they convert on third down and two? Mason, actually, Cap Marshall down the sideline across midfield. And there's that option we were talking about. Run at a much higher efficiency in a 19-yard run for the quarterback. But a run, not a sack. But nonetheless, a loss of eight and more heat being put on by Delanabit there. He gets rid of it, and Marshall throws it away. Ibrahim running right, turns that corner, lowers the shoulder. And he's going to have another first down after an 11-yard run. Jake Morgan pulls it. Wasn't quite able to get away. He almost did. Jalen Johnson got the ankles. 23 seconds to play in the half. It had the distance, but went left. As Marshall looking to put it in the air. He fires to the near side. Catch is made. Stepping out of bounds at the 32 is Jalen Camp. Throws it quickly. Well, he steps out. He did enough time. At the 27, five-yard gain. And they're going to try it. Trying to get some points. Wesley. That is up. That is a big lift for Georgia Tech to get on the board with the 44-yard field goal to end the half. Two of six on third down tonight. Third and three, Marshall keeping, able to get rid of it at the last moment, but Quay Searcy right into the arms of Keandre Thomas. Back in there to start this drive. First possession of the second half for the Gophers, and right back to Ibrahim, and this guy bouncing around. That's a 14-yard run. He's to the 46 of Georgia Tech, a 14-yard gallop. Man. Right, man, but we asked Coach Chiraca how many times, as many as we can. Morgan lets it fly. He's got his man wide open and into the end zone. Chris Ottman Bell. Nope, they're going to mark him out at the three. It will be first and goal. It is Only not a field. touchdown. Reception and out of bounds at the three. And Jalen Askew got beat big time. At least I'm assuming that right here. That heel does not touch. In my humble opinion, I don't. I think this is a touchdown. I, I don't think. I, mean, I, I understand what the official thought he saw. Seth Green in the game. Ibrahim straight ahead. He makes all the replay nonsense a moot point and says, Touchdown Minnesota, his first of the night. First down, Georgia Tech at their 48 yard line.
Marshall pitches. This is Cottrell. Nathan Cottrell. And look like some option football. That's what he believes in, and they've cut people all week live in practice. 14th play of the drive. There's the pitch, and there's Cottrell. And Georgia Tech finds the end zone for the first time tonight. I'm excited, because I really haven't seen a whole lot of excitement out of it. Ibrahim. That's exciting. Says, don't get excited because I'm flashing down the sideline and maybe gone. They catch up to him at the 20. Georgia Tech badly needs to keep him out of the end zone, can they? Ibrahim says no with his second rushing touchdown of the game to make this a three score game. Things go with a year away from the game. Yeah, so he just needed a break. Felt like it was time. He's been at it for about 40 years. Marshall caught in stride. Quay Cersei. All the way down near the 30-yard line. Yeah, Marshall wants to put it up. Here comes some pressure. He's throwing towards the end zone. And Stewart, it's a jump ball. Incomplete. And Minnesota will take over on down. Yeah, Allison Ray. I don't, I'm sure you remember our conversation with him early in the week. And here's Ibrahim down the sideline to midfield and more. Push him out at about the 42. Morgan to the end zone. The adjustment to catch Johnson. Wow. His second touchdown catch of the game. And they've both been extremely impressive grabs. How quickly their answer from Jeff Collins takes over officially tomorrow. And here's Oliver with the run. And he's a little black in there. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver looking to run again. And he's going to have another first down. Now the sideline, they'll mark him out near the 20. And I know a lot of this is worth the one. Uh-oh. Lost the football. Minnesota's got it. And guess who has it? I think that's number 20. Put another check mark in that stat. That is Julian but Huff. Last game against Wisconsin, man. He's been uh, languishing on the bench. Man. Maybe this guy should have had him a little more play time. The way he's been able to perform and come up with plays. And if they had five little smaller uh, trophies, I'd give them to that offensive line, too, because those guys have been really good all night. So they've been in the victory formation. And that's going to take care of things from Detroit, Minnesota. P.J. Fleck gets his first bowl win.